All right, New Zealand, welcome to Glad Rap Channel. Welcome to the Industry Rumble 6 on the 16th of November 2018 at the ABA in Auckland, New Zealand. Proudly brought to you by Glossier Promotions promoter Bruce Glossier. With you tonight, Isaac Savage, and to my left, Benji Watt. Hi, how's it going? Now, I need to, like, like put some uh, highlights to Isaac here. He is the director of New Zealand Fighter. He's an amazing MC and, of course, amazing commentator right here. You know, just, just, just putting it out there. Striking your ego, you know. Still learning, mate. Still learning. And Aren't we all? It's always good to be here with you, Benji, and the Glad Rap crew commentating on these fights tonight. And we are up to about number six and what has so far been an entertaining night of fights. We're seeing a lot of great things. We're seeing a towel thrown in. We're seeing a thick head gear. And we're seeing some dancers from the from the ring girls. Tonight we've got a sellout crowd, they're very enthusiastic. Either that they're very looking forward to the boxing or they're slightly drunk. I think they're more looking forward to the boxing to be honest. Gonna disagree with you there, Benji Ruben Wati there in the blue gloves, the blue headgear, and Dean de Klerk there in the red gloves, black headgear. Now looking at the headgear too, Benji, both these headgear fittings tonight look a little bit more spot on than what we've seen earlier. I think the blue uh, the blue corner has got what everyone else is wearing. The, the red corner is actually using his own, by the looks of it. The blue corner, Ruben, he's actually doing quite well. They seem a little bit older uh, boxes than what we're used to, but here we go. Just as you said there, the headgear looks like it's sort of slipping over the uh, vision there of Rimwadi. Ruben, sorry, Dean de Klerk coming forward. These guys are really going at it. They're hard punches. Ruben coming forward. Not showing uh, too many jabs at all. Just rights, hooks. The, re the referee is looking in very closely for this one. Getting ready to step in when it, someone gets in trouble. I believe Dean's nickname is Alpha Lion. You're certainly right on that one. But he's on the back of his shirt and he's certainly fighting like a lion tonight. Getting out of the way there of the big right hook from Ruben. Oh, did you see that? He just tried to swat away that uh, punch, but obviously it didn't work. Oh, it almost looked like an elbow there, Benji. He just grabbed the uh, the head there and just started launching uppercuts. Well, as I said, well, the referee needs the, needs more control of that because he was actually holding on to that glove, and that's a big no-no in boxing, obviously. Alpha Lion certainly coming forward, loving his style at the moment. Coming forward and just absolutely destroying Oh, him. holding him again! Ref's going to say something here. Oh, end of round one. The clapper certainly needs to get on top of their job tonight because I did not hear that. You know, um, again, like, three punches in the back of the head. That's a big, massive no-no. He should have been at least being told, like, oh, it does not uh, okay this breaking the rules. If you do this again, I'm going to deduct a point. You know, it's safety, you know? Look, if you notice, too, I don't want to go on too much about the headgear tonight, but... You notice in the red corner there, the headgear looks fine, looks comfortable, it's sitting right. The headgear in the blue corner is not looking quite as, uh, you know, as open as it should be. It's they're slightly pulling it up, it looks like it's covering the vision. It, sh it shouldn't sort of be going over the eyebrows of the fighter, Benji. Well, as I said, like, um, headgear should not be shared, it should be fitted to your, yourself. And, like, I guess these are back out headgears for everyone to use if they didn't bring their own. And obviously, it's showing that uh, that's, hap that's what's happening right here. It could almost be, you know, what wins, makes, or breaks the fight, Benji. You know, you could have a better fighter, a better boxer, but they might lose because their vision's being restricted. Yeah, exactly. And, like, well, headgear is a net. Oh, there was a little bit of slip from the blue. Oh, oh, a bit of a rough and tumble. Is this a boxing fight or an MMA one, Benji? Oh, uh, they seem all right. <laughs> look at that. That was a bit of a judo slam. Or, and look, the ref there saying, look, you can't be doing that sort of hoo-ha in here. Get on with it, boys, and don't you dare do that again. 
I, I'm, I'm surprised there was like a, like no count of one, two, three. It seems like what uh, Brown Butterbean has done in the past. In the, in the oh, right, coming Alpha in, Lion. Alpha Lion. Uh, oh, oh in right. trouble. Again. Again, the referee is like not controlling the fighters. I mean, yes, it's like yes, listen, but he's not listen, uh, They're not. He's not putting enforcing his control. And Alpha Lion's coming out. Benji, I don't think. Look, the punches here from Alpha Lion are certainly strong, but the headgear is over the vision of Ruben. It's it's not allowing him to fight properly. You can see from here that it's clearly over his eyebrows. He just literally turned his boxer turned the boxer around because he couldn't see. And just like, him, like getting chucked in. That headgear is certainly causing some problems for Ruben, and it's a shame because Ruben's certainly a strong fighter. I don't want to see this headgear interfere with the fight. Even like the Alpha Lion, he's actually a little bit confused. He doesn't want to keep fighting because he don't get. He doesn't want Ruben to like keep on receiving those heavy punches. Look at him as he walks back to the corner. There, you can barely see. They need to do something about this headgear. Either rip it off. Or tighten it up. Well, they wouldn't be able to rip it off. But the thing is, is that the referee needs to step in when situations like this happen to actually like see that the boxer is in danger because of the uh, headgear. It's a little bit in between. Yeah, you can see that the trainer's also um, adjusting the headgear to make it fit properly. We saw multiple times in that round where the boxer was trying to walk away, but the referee just turned him around just to get him, you know, punched multiple times. Look, and for those watching back home, there's nothing worse than having the the, wor the, the wrong headgear on your head. You feel like, well, I feel claustrophobic. I feel like you can't see, your peripheral vision's blocked, so a punch can hit you that you don't even know where it's come from. As we go now to the third and final, let's see which guy wants to take it home, or which guy can actually see properly. Oh. Alpha Lion coming you over. Know, you know, there's been a couple of moments where this fight has probably should have been stopped by now. The referee should have been um, stepping it's, in. It's not, it's not that Ruben can't fight. He can't see. Oh, oh big there left there from Ruben. He's just hooking. And the, this, again, this punching multiple times. And there's a standing eight count. I thought we were going to... There is no standing eight count. I thought we were finishing from that. Look, Ruben can't see. It's they need to do something about the headgear. I don't know how he was counting because was he was he just counting from his two fingers? Or? Oh, and there we go. Look, kudos to the Alpha Line. He, he was certainly the aggressor. But there's, However, there's, ever. there's multiple factors in here that was absolutely disgusting. The a the headgear was not right for him and the trainer should have done a better job for, uh, to make sure that that headgear was to fitted appropriately well yes and no Benji like this given random headgear tonight so yeah it's it's a bit like like we're saying earlier hopefully tonight you know gyms trainers everyone watching decides to get headgear for the fighters and fit it to their fighter before they get in the ring yeah and the second thing is the referee did a disgusting job kept on even though the well, we could see from up here that the, the boxer was in trouble. He kept on walking away to the wrong corner and like the referee literally turned him around just to face the boxer, just to get his ass kicked again. Look, kudos to both fighters, you know. I, my hat goes off to, to Ruben Wadi. He is a brave man. Uh, obviously, Dean de Klerk is an absolute warrior himself. Certainly the aggressor. I think... Uh, Ruben can show that he can box, but this is like this was not his fight. 